Hey YouTube, today we're going to do a video on unboxing and installing an outdoor sunshade that we're going to put between these two columns here on the porch and hopefully these things work because the whole reason for doing this is we get obviously our sun face or our sun the house faces the west and the sun is just brutal trying to sit out here in the evenings until about after six and I mean, you just sit out here and bake. So we're going to try. Good Lord, we're going to try to install this today. I don't know if I can do it by myself because this thing's eight foot long. So I don't know if the brackets come, uh, they come apart and you can assemble everything, or if it's just one big unit. But we're going to see. So let me get this opened up. We'll get started. All right. So we got it all open. Got a box of hardware here. One thing I will notice right off the bat, and I'm 99% sure they sent me the wrong color because I thought I ordered like a brown color, but uh, this definitely is not brown. But I guess it's going to have to work. So I don't know. Uh, I guess first thing I need to do is go get the, uh, the impact gun. That way I can drive some screws in to mount this thing. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, folks, so here's the deal. This screen is 93 and a half inches long. My opening from inside of each column is 92 and a half, which ain't a big deal. So we can just offset it outside the post. I don't even know if y'all can see, but we're gonna offset it outside here, half inch on each side. It'll be outside the column and it should work. All right, I got that where you guys can see good. So first thing I'm gonna do is make a mark. I guess I'm going to take the camera down for a minute because it's in the way. But first thing we'll do is mark in a half inch right there. And then we'll mount the cam bracket, which is this piece. And it's going to go right there like that. So let me get some screws. Luckily, that's all. Should all be wood underneath that. But yeah, it is. So this should be a pretty simple install. There we go. Now, next bracket will go down here, which I'm not even going to mark this one for the simple reason of I don't need to because it doesn't. It ain't going to matter. All right. Let's see if we can get this bracket in here now. Shouldn't have been that difficult, but I right, slid right in. All right, now before I hang that, I'm gonna go get my long extension. That way it's a lot easier to do this. All right, guys, I'm back again. Let's put this long extension on here. That way we can not have to turn the drill all sideways and be stripping out screws and everything else. Now, let's see if I can hold it up here and get some screws in it probably not but we'll try that's all we can do hold on is that upside down or backwards did i do it backwards no that's right okay we're good oh come on thing this is where that extra set of hands would be freaking awesome. Ugh. This might turn into a how not to video. Jesus Christ. Okay. There's one. Now, let me see if I get this side. Unfortunately for you guys, if the camera is not right and you can't see this, I am so sorry, but I'm in a little bit of a pickle at the moment, so. I can't really let it down to move the camera, but I will show you all when it's done, I promise. <laughs> it 
drop that screw. But I see it. It's in the flower bed. <sighs> wow. All right. I'm going to grab that screw real quick. All right, I'm back, guys. If you made it this long into the video, I appreciate it. There we go. All right. Now, I think this next step is install safety cord device. I really don't know if we need a safety cord device, but we'll see. Let's see if this thing even works. All right, that's kind of cool. And there went my drill. So it'd be cool, I guess, if this was down inside here. But see, really, I don't need to go past about right there. I know it sounds kind of silly, but we're just trying to block the sun when we're sitting up here. So I don't even know if I need to do anything for these safety cords, to be honest. I do like the fact that I put it out just enough where, not much, but I can still hang a hanging basket here if I want to. So, I think it's pretty nice. Let me pull it all the way down or where I want it and I'll take you guys out front and show it to you. Whoops. Get it off of that. So we can go all the way down if need be something about like that so let me show you guys all right so here it is down even with the bottom of the porch it don't look bad the color is not at all what i wanted that's like a daggone gray and i know it was supposed to be a brown color that i ordered but i might reach out to them see if they'll send me a different color shade but uh this thing went bad it was like a hundred bucks or 99 dollars i think right out of 100 and I think it's going to do great blocking the sun. Let's see what it looks like up here on the porch with it down. So yeah, it already looks darker up here and feels 100 degrees cooler. <laughs> I'm kidding you, it's not 100 degrees cooler, but it's. Uh, I think it's going to work just fine. And when we want to put it up, you just you grab this other chain, roll it back up. We'll see how long this thing lasts before one of the kids tear it up, probably. Hopefully they don't but there we go it's up out of the way this side over here is kind of not rolling even might be something that's have to roll it all the way out and fix that but that's it so if you're looking to hang one of these sunshades uh, i'll share right here's the one that we bought on amazon like i said i think they sent me the wrong color but it is what it is so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe hit the thumbs up button we'll see y'all later